and welcome back to the Pipe Cottage. You know, uh, in 1945, Bing Crosby starred in a film entitled The Bells of St. Mary's. It was a film about uh, a Catholic nun and a, and a priest, and they were trying to save a school in their community. But when I was a boy, my daddy, one of the first songs he ever taught me on the five-string banjo was the theme song for the Bells of St. Mary's movie that came out in 45. And when that movie came out, it was, if I'm not mistaken, the most popular film in the United States in 1945. If it wasn't the most popular film, it was one of them. Bing Crosby, a guy who many folks affiliate with pipe smoking, and actually as I'm talking about him, I'm smoking my Bing's favorite Savinelli Rusticated here today, and in it I have some J.M. Boswell's Sweet Dreams, which is one of my favorite aromatic blends of all time. Um, but th this is an interesting moment here. You have Bing Crosby, an avid pipe smoker. You have this wonderful Catholic movie that comes out in 1945, which is a success across the country. And then you have me, who's just now joining the Catholic Church, and who was raised learning this song on the five-string banjo uh, from parents who were Protestant. And so the irony of it all is fairly, fairly interesting. And so I want to play that song for you in just a minute after I get this pipe up and rolling again. So let's see if we can make it happen. Man, you can't beat that. The Bells of St. Mary's, that song brings a lot of good memories to mind. I was raised listen, listening to my daddy play that song. When I was like two or three years old, I remember him playing that song. And little did I know that by the time I was 10 or 11 years old, I'd be playing it myself. And little did I know that a few years after that, I'd be smoking a pipe. Just like old Bing Crosby. I wanted to uh, once again let people know that 
Uh, I'm leaving tomorrow to go to Steubenville, Ohio. I will be uh, on the Pints with Aquinas uh, uh, YouTube channel and podcast live this coming Thursday evening at 6.30 Eastern. That's September 21st, 2023. And that Friday after that, September 22nd, there's going to be a celebration on 4th Street, downtown Steubenville, celebrating the life and the literature of J.R.R. Tolkien. And so there's a bookstore down that street. There's a coffee shop and, and there's um, Chesterton Cigar Company. And all that's right there on the same street. So y'all come by and see us if you, if you have the time. And if you're close by, Lord have mercy, don't, don't, don't worry about it if you ain't close by. But y'all pray for us. Y'all pray for us. We've got a, we've, we've enjoyed going to mass. We are going through RCIA right now, becoming a part of the Catholic Church, but we're receiving a lot of criticism. A lot of criticism from family and friends. I've lost some friends over this, but it, it, that's nonsense. God is good. God is gracious. The Lord is evermore on his throne. And uh, we just want more of Jesus in this family, and we're so excited about what God has in store for us. We're going to make a video in the next week or two, uh, and I'm going to have Alex, my wife, come on the um YouTube channel, and we're going to talk about our conversion to Catholicism. I'll be smoking a pipe next to the fire, more than likely, and uh, she will be joining me, uh, and we're going to talk about our conversion to Catholicism. And I think that'll be worthwhile, because we've got a lot of questions about why we did this, and we've got a lot of criticism from many people who said, oh, you're going to a spawn of Satan. You're worshiping Satan going to the Catholic Church. Folks, that's a bunch of complete nonsense. And so uh, Alex and I are going to sit down. We're going to talk about that. So look forward to that video in the near future. My Lord, have mercy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play me another song. Because I just, I'm, I'm in the mood to do it. <laughs> A song that my daddy and I used to play when we were traveling playing music and uh, it's an old hymn entitled Keep on the Firing Line and uh, if you recognize it then good, if you don't just sit right there and listen
sit here and pick all day, but I ain't got the time. Or I may. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play. Let, let, let me just play one more time. This is an old song from the Civil War and called uh, called Home Sweet Home. Um, there's a legend that at the Battle of Fredericksburg in December of 1862, um, which which was very close very close to Christmas, uh, both the Union and Confederate armies were singing this song together across separate banks of the Rappahannock River in December of 1862. There was a lull in the battle, and uh, legend tells us that they were singing this song together. And uh, I'm going to play the Earl Scruggs version of it. A song called Home Sweet Home. you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord keep you safe from all the harm that's going on around you. God is good. Y'all tune in next time for the Pipe Cottage. This is Alan Harrelson. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> ha ha ha.